Coucou les puces, hello my loves, marhaba habibati. How's everyone doing today? Decent? Okay. I am on. <laughs> I feel like I do this all the time when I talk to, um, to my good buddy Noel. Hold on, I think I really, I feel like I have something in my teeth. One second. Where, like, I am so used to talking to her over a voice note and WhatsApp. And so it feels like she's sitting there with me. And then the other day I was finishing up a message with her and then my sister got in the car and I'm like, say hi to Noel. And she's like, hi, how's it going? Sarah, this is weird. I feel like I'm talking to myself. And I'm like, oh, I've been talking to myself for years now, but it doesn't feel like I'm actually talking to myself because I know there are people on the other side of the camera or the phone or whatever. So um, I'm here having a full on conversation with you guys as though you were responding. But let me know down below in the comments how it is that you are doing. Um, as I said, I'm sitting here power filming, which I have not done in a long time or like, I have a chunk of time. I always find that like, I feel like this is a visual medium. So you guys may enjoy seeing me in different outfits and what have you, but I used to have the patience to do that. Like I would, when I first started my channel, here's a behind the scenes hot tip. I would power film, I'd film, cause I, I, I had a video that would go up every single day. So I'd film once a week, but I'd film seven videos in one sitting. And then I would have seven outfits lined up I do not have the patience for that. Can we see how long it's taking me between video and video? If I have to go up and change, I will like just shut her down and not come back. So um, if you've made it through like the three or four videos that I filmed in this outfit, leave like a, I don't know, a red heart down below. Um, I just feel like, I don't know how you guys are doing, but at this point I'm like trying to give myself grace to do things in a way that is not incredibly exhaustive uh where it's fun where it gets done like sometimes done is better than perfect um sometimes an adjustment is made to make it fun and not feel like extra work when already our energy is kind of tapped out so that is where we're at today i know that it started kind of superficially as a conversation of the outfits in my last few videos but i really as is the way over here want to turn into a bigger kind of touch point with you guys that Things are heavy right now. Things are tough. We are tired. Um, and if you aren't, please share your secrets. <laughs> Let us know how you are harnessing energy during these, these trying times. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm not sick, BT dubs. I have the secret power of being able to choke on my own saliva. It's a skill that is real fantastic right about now. Anyways, um... What was I trying to say? Give yourself grace, be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself. I'm glad to be here with you guys. I have filmed, what have I filmed in case you haven't checked it out yet? I filmed this eyeshadow look, which is from my new favorite palette, uh, the Pat McGrath Mothership palette, this beauty. And if someone knows what this lipstick is, please tell me because I need it in my life. Uh, and Noelle is gonna laugh when she hears me say that because this is a shade that is like Noelle's signature shade, which, I sometimes don't love wearing, um, but I'm into it. So I did that and then I did my first part of my Sephora VIB haul. And then I ran out of, I finished a tub of foundation while I was doing my makeup and I went to put it in my empties bucket. My empties bucket is overflowing. So I was like, well, we have to sit down and do that. The thing I always like to do with these videos, if I have reviews for any of these things, I will pop them below in the description. But if you have emptied anything good recently, let us know. It's always a really great sense of like achievement, I feel like an accomplishment given how much makeup and skincare um, I own. I love being able to go through stuff. I will tell you whatever you purchase. I'll give you like a little mini review on things. And without further ado, let's just get into it. So the first thing that wouldn't fit is my Max, my Max, my Mac Fix Plus Prep and Prime. So this was for coconut. This was from a collection a while ago. My sister actually was in Lebanon at the time. They were sold out everywhere here and she was in Lebanon at the time and she went and hunted these down. I have, two, I had two or three of them. I think this was my last one because I kept one at work and this was my work one and I'm looking here in my bucket and there's none. So I must have now gone through both of them. I love the packaging. I think the packaging is really cute and I attempted to open it, but I feel like I've tried to open it a couple times and it's not opening right and I don't want to open I like the I was gonna keep the packaging is what I'm trying to say um, but I can't get it to open right and I don't want to ruin one of my normal ones like one of my full ones of just the typical one to put in here um, but if you guys have ever 
reuse packaging, let me know. I think I can use these, I'm not gonna throw this out. I think I can use this to back to, mm, I forgot about that, the back to back program. If you take six empties, you can get a free lipstick. So I'm gonna put this over on this side. That way if one of you tells me you know how to repurpose it, repurpose it I will do that. Otherwise, I will use it and back to back it for a free lipstick. Three, six empties from MAC, empty anything will get you a free lipstick or eyeshadow, I think. See how long it's been? Anyways, it was lovely. Um, I didn't love the coconut scent. Coconut's not my favorite scent. I've repurchased, I've got like this little, I found some scented ones, this little pineapple one. I got, uh, what did I get? There's like a pink one. I got a whole bunch of, of different MAC stuff. I think I hauled it before. Um, so I have purchased it. I just, I can't buy this one because it's limited edition and I didn't love, love, love the scent. Okay, uh, Emma Hardy Amazing Face Morning Cleansing Balm. I've lost count of how much, how many of these I've been through. The scent is heavenly. I love the scent of Moringa. Mm, so good. Um, and it just, it takes off my makeup and, and cleans my face like nothing else. So I don't actually think I have another one of these. Uh, I don't believe so. No, that is a lie, I have one more. I bought a whole bunch, so I've got one more. I'm not gonna run out and rebuy it because I have a lot of cleansing balms that I, when I reorganized kind of my uh, makeup, my makeup and my skincare into this room, I realized how much cleanser I have. So I wanna work through some of that before I buy new stuff. But this isn't like I, once I'm through it, I will buy more of it, I love it. Um, this set, there is a lot in here. This setting spray is by Joa. It's the Selfie Ready Matte Setting Spray, Matte Me Down, inspired by K-Beauty. I bought this right before the world shut down when I was in California. It was fine. It did mattify me and it did lock my makeup in all day long. I do think though that it dried me out a little bit and as opposed to the prep and primer that I use from MAC that always leaves a bit my makeup and my face feeling refreshed and fresh and dewy, because it matted everything out and locked it in place, I just ate Near the end of the day, my face felt chalky and dehydrated looking. So I don't know that I would repurchase it. Um, or if I did, I would use it only on specific days that I, you know, uh, wanted my makeup to last all day. You know what I would actually do as I'm thinking out loud? I would probably use them together. So I would use this because I knew it would mattify and keep my makeup locked in place. But then I would refresh with this one throughout the day so I'd have a little bit of like dewiness and fresh feel to my face. You know what I'm realizing is I threw out another one of those prep and primes and I've been that, that much closer. I just don't like clutter. <laughs> she says with all of this vanity behind her. I like clutter that sparks joy. <laughs> I feel like stuff that is like, I, I could never Marie Kondo because you know how they go, if you hold this as a bring you joy, keep it, if not throw it away. Like I want to throw away power cords and spatulas and like bore and like empties that I get to hold on. Like things that do not spark joy for me are things that I kind of have to keep around for practicality purposes. So that is not my way of decluttering. We'll see. Anyways, I will try to hold on to that one so I can get a free lipstick. The other thing that's in here is my Sublimage Chanel La Crème Sieux. It's my eye cream. It's my very bougie eye cream. Doesn't really smell like anything. I have really sensitive eyes and I find that I can't use a lot of different eye creams. I love this one. I have a review on it. I will link it below. It's great. It's expensive. I attempted to not buy it and I was, I said, no, it's not going to happen. And then I caved and I repurchased it. So fifth or sixth tub of that stuff. I love it. Um, speaking of bougie, this is my <laughs> Clé de Peau Beauty Radiant Cream Foundation. I'm in 020. It is what I'm wearing today. If you guys have been here for any amount of time, you know, you will know how much foundation I have tried and how picky I have been. I like a full coverage foundation without it being um, chalky looking, like it looking dewy and fresh and natural while still being full, full coverage. Nothing beats the stuff I've tried. I've, I've by and large stopped looking for other things because I love this guy so much. Um, it is out, It was out of stock in Canada everywhere for months and months and months. So I put an order through uh, I had someone send them to me, so I bought three or four at the time. So I have, I've already, I've already repurchased multiples of this and I adore it. If anybody has used this and knows of a cheaper alternative, please let me know. I am all ears. <laughs> uh, the other thing I went through is a Dr. Jart Tea Treatment Moisturizing Hydrate Moisturizer. Oh, it says Moisturizer Hydratant. It's the French. So it's 81.5 tea tree leaf extract. Um, to moisturize and pH balance the skin. It was fine. I didn't necessarily see a difference one way or the other. 
I usually like tea tree products. It was fine. I just, I don't, I have other moisturizers I would prefer. Um, this is the beauty blender that is done. I use, I like the beauty blender pro, the black one. I just find that it helps me with my desired fuller coverage. Um, so I do have another one I'm using and I know that they say you're supposed to throw them out over three to four months and that's probably more hygienic, but I feel like I just go until I can't get them clean the way I want or they're falling apart. So I, I, I'll continue to repurchase them. I don't feel like anything does my base the way I want it like that one. What else is in here? This was a like a sample of the Glam Glow Good in Bed Passion Fruit Softening Night Cream. I didn't expect that this would do anything magical for my face. I actually thought it would just be a really nice smelling night cream. It didn't either. So I'm glad I got to try it. I would not repurchase it. I There's been a couple, what did I try the other day that I threw away? There were a couple other samples that I had. I didn't put them in here if they weren't anything to write home about. There was like a fresh, like a liquid cleanser. It was fine. And then a Josie Marin, um, Argan body butter, which again, I thought would be really lovely smelling. It was just meh, so those are in there. This, I don't know where you would get this. So this is the Tay, T-E-Y-E -E, treatment. It's an orange blossom cleansing milk. I bought it from like a local spa here. So if you're in the Calgary area, Oasis Spa is where I bought this. It was a really beautiful smelling um, pump-based cleanser. It lasted me forever, forever. Like there is so much product in this 200 milliliter, but like very compact. Uh, cleanser When I go by back to buy cleanser, I would buy it again I felt that it was gentle removed everything made me feel refreshed without stripping me like stripping my skin um, So I really enjoyed it. I did not think that there was as much stuff in here. Oh You guys We didn't throw it away This is the other one. Okay We now have two products we can back to Mac. This is exciting. There was one other small one, but it's not in here. Anyways, it's fine. I'm gonna put these to the side. I'm not gonna throw them out. I'm gonna take them back to Mac and recycle them. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm really excited. Uh, this is from Skoa. It's the Hydra Dew mask. Um, I think Skoa is a Canadian only company. Let me know you guys in the US if you've had it before. I miss Skoa. Skoa is a, it's, they do facials. It's the only thing they do. Like they're open for just facials. And then they obviously have product that you can buy. I have not been since, before the pandemic broke. I just personally haven't felt comfortable in going at least, at least not until I'm fully vaccinated. Um, I feel like I need to have a like sit down with myself on what I'm going to do once I'm fully vaccinated because I feel like I will feel safe to do things, but I also don't want to be a carrier monkey because they haven't, I don't know if anyone's read any good research. This has turned into a pandemic conversation. Anyways, um, I just don't want to spread it because I think that the, the, the science and the research still is not sure about that. So. I may go back and get a facial once I'm fully vaccinated, but we shall see. This is not why I came here to talk about hydrogen. I love this. Um, because I haven't been back, I've been trying to support kind of my local uh, SCOA with at least buying products. I have repurchased a large size of the hydrogen. I love when I get these small ones as like a member perk or in a gift box because I find that when we were traveling, these are a lot easier to travel with. It's a really lovely, what does it smell like? I don't know, it's just like fresh and clean. It's very hydrating. I actually usually use this as a sleeping mask. I'll put it on just as an extra layer on top of my moisturizer before bed and I really, really like it. So I do highly, highly recommend that guy. Um, there's a lot of face product. There's actually a lot of makeup in here. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I have repurchased, I love it, it's great. It is the only primer that I use now exclusively. So there's a little bit of budget <laughs> within the bouginess that is my makeup and skincare. Um, this is the Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. I think this is in shade light. Uh, I actually got this from Noelle. I was hanging out at her house, again, pre-pandemic, and we were going through her makeup and I was like, oh, that's interesting. She's like, I have a spare one, just take it. I liked it, it was really lovely. It's kind of a light to medium coverage. Um, I prefer my, uh, what do you call it? My clé de peau. I would reuse it. I don't know that I would purchase it. Like I feel like if it came in a gift set or something like that, I wouldn't donate it, I, I would use it. But I don't know that I would repurchase it given how much I love my other bougie one. Uh, this guy I love, so my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in Fair. They've changed the shading on it, so I bought whatever the, the, the lightest one was. Again, I use it as an under eye highlight. I cannot find this anywhere other than the Tarte website. Also doesn't carry it, Sephora doesn't carry it. 
I don't know why it's so hard to find. Does anybody else have any indication on why it's only on the Tarte website now? Um, but I really, really like this. I used to be a big fan of the Maybelline, like the twist up one, but then I found this one and I just, I like how much more coverage I get with it, how bright I, I feel. If anyone has a dupe for it, I'm willing to look because it is kind of pricey, but it lasts forever. Um, I had that for like a long, long time. So I've repurchased it, highly enjoy it. Um, I went through the Ola, Hendrick, Ola Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream. Uh, it's this guy. They've changed their packaging. I don't know how I feel about this packaging. My my ride or die moisturizer was oh uh, smells good. Was their uh, moisturizer that came in the purple tub that was called Nourish Me. Years before I even started wearing makeup, I was like, I am now in my twenties. I want to at least start like getting into a skincare routine, and I bought it. And it smelled like candy, and it was so hydrating. They don't have it anymore. I can't find it anywhere. If you guys know where I can locate it, please let me know because I would love to repurchase it. I've since tried a whole bunch of their different ones. They're fine, they're nothing special. I was hoping this would be similar to the Body Shop's Vitamin C Moisturizer, that one that I reviewed when I was living in London that I loved, which the Body Shop doesn't have anymore either. Why do brands do this? Um, so no dice yet, I'm still playing around. I just hauled a very expensive moisturizer, which to some extent I hope I won't love because do I really need another bougie product in my repurchase list? No, no I do not. Would I rebuy it if I love it? Yes, most probably. Okay, and then there are four mascaras. I have found my holy grail uh, combo of mascaras. My friend Ira very wisely told me because I was searching high and low for the perfect mascara and then one day she's like, Sarah, the perfect mascara does not exist. You need to layer. Like that is the only way that you are gonna get the drama and the volume and the length from your lashes that you want without putting on false lashes. So heeding that wise woman's advice, I have found the perfect combination and I've repurchased this iteration time and time again. So I start with a L'Oreal Luminous Original Mascara. Um, these are the colored ones, which I like. I use them as a base. I also have now just repurchased the black one because I think I couldn't find the colored ones also you can't really see too much of them at that point. So I'm like, what is really the, anyways, whatever. This is my base. And then on top of that is the Maybelline Last Sensational Somptuous Voluptuous Luscious Full Fan Effect. I feel like there's a shadow. What is that? I don't know. Anyways, this combo, magical. I love it. We'll repurchase. And it's drugstore. It's like the one, no, that and my primer are the only drugstore products that I use consistently. Um, in filming my Sephora haul, I went on a tiny bit of a rant on how much I am not a fan of the uh, birthday gifts this year. They're not great. These ones were the birthday gift from last year, which is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, the original and the pistachio. I am not usually a pistachio scent girl. I arguably like this one even better. I don't know if any of you have had the experience with this yellow one. It goes off, like it goes bad really quickly and then it smells like petroleum. Even this one, which was still fresh, like I tried to use this one first. It just smelled bad. So I like the pistachio, it was fresh. I would repurchase it if I needed cream, but I have so much cream to go through that I probably won't right away. Um, but again, if it came in like a gift set, I would totally use, they were lovely. I have two liquid lipsticks in here that are like, I. you can see how much use, there's only a tiny little bit left of it at the bottom and it's very dry and unusable, but these were from a Kylie Jenner, um, I think I bought her like birthday gift set a few years back where I was gifted it for my brother or something, but it had all these minis. So this is in Dolce K and Candy K. I actually really like the formula of these guys. I find that they're matte, they don't move, they don't dry your lips out too much. They smell, they smell like my childhood. Kind of like lip smackers, if you guys remember, that's the scent that I get off of them. I don't want to love Kylie Cosmetic products, I'm not bashing, like she is an entrepreneur, she is a young woman who is running a business, I give her props for that. I just have a problematic relationship with the whole Kardashian family. Um, I didn't, so I didn't really want all of them, but I do enjoy them. Uh, I think, I feel like some Sephora's carry this uh, brand. What I'm trying to say is I like them because they're more basic colors, I don't always love buying basic lipsticks. I think if there was another lip kit at some point, I probably would buy it. I still have some of the darker shades that I enjoy wearing. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I'm struggling to say. I have a lot of lipstick. I don't really like, need to go out and rebuy it, but I would. It, I like the smell, I like the texture. I liked enough that I finished it, obviously. Um, I'm just like not in a huge rush to go buy more lipstick. I'm trying to use the infinite amounts that I have in drawers and 
baskets and what is it oh it's a piece of hair i was like there's like a phantom something what is going on okay we're fine it's all good Alrighty, almost done um i when i bought the clé de peau foundation it was last summer they were having a promotion you got this like little bag full of uh, sample sized skincare products of theirs so i was like yes please thank you so um this is the la creme it's just the face cream from i open this as though you guys can see anything other than an empty container it was a very it smells very floral very like old lady floral the it was fine it didn't i i worry when there's that this much floral fragrance in skincare products um but it it didn't break me out it wasn't but also wasn't anything to write home about so i'm i wouldn't repurchase it but i'm glad that i got a chance to try it I also tried the Concentré, what, oh, prote I, I'm trying to invent French words onto this packaging, it doesn't say that. It says protective fortifying cream, um, also, like I said, from Clé de Peau. I don't remember this one being anything, if you were excited. Yeah, this one smells more, a little less floral. It was a heavier cream, again, fine, nothing super, super special. Uh, and then this is the Origin Zin, Zin ginseng i can read uh refreshing eye cream i actually do like this eye cream i have another sample i end up getting samples of this all the time for some reason that i am using it has it's like an orange colored cream and it's got a little bit like of a, it looks like almost like a sparkle in it so it's supposed to be brightening it's nice could i swap this out for my chanel theoretically i don't like it as much <laughs> i just i find that this chanel is a little thicker and creamier this one's a little bit more runny um it's fine and i use it and it i use it because it doesn't aggravate my eyes very few things actually don't make my eyes water in the eye cream department so i will use it anytime i get it um i just don't love it as much as chanel so part of it's probably just because i'm bougie and whatever <laughs> on we go when you're making your own money and you're spending within your budget i feel like i am tired of of this rhetoric of like having to get down on ourselves for spending our hard-earned cash so as long as you're within budget you're not stretching yourself out financially live your life enjoy your life and i'm gonna enjoy my expensive chanel cream okay um this is the drunk elephant a passioni retinol cream a reboot and soothe with one point why do why would you put one point oh just put one percent right now um photoprotective so this was the five mole version that i got in a sample kit from drunk elephant i really like it i find that retinol is one of those products they tell you that you will see an instant change in your skin after using it um i've tried a couple different products some of them were way too strong for me i find this was gentle enough and i really loved it i have repurchased the full size um I don't love the packaging it's in one of those like pump packaging which i always find is wasteful i wish that the full size came in like a squeeze tube um there is probably some thought that in the pump it, it will last longer or you know i don't know but I, I i would prefer this packaging i have repurchased it i am really enjoying it and then two other little sample size things this is the bioderma hydrablo serum it's a hydrating serum from bioderma um i like it not necessarily more than like Sarah the ceramide from Dr. Jart, I like better, so I would repurchase that one. But this was really lovely. And then there was this La Roche Posay, just a sensitive face cream, which was fine, nothing to write home about, but I did enjoy it. So that was a lot of empties, you guys. We will do this again when the box overflows. But as I said, let me know what you guys have been emptying recently, good and bad. Um, let me know if this inspired you to try anything new. Let's do some points of positivity and call it a day. So my first point of positivity is a sparkly makeup, which I just, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, my second point of positivity is, if you can see it behind me, is that new fragrance from uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, which as a result of buying things like very expensive eye cream, shoppers carry Chanel, and I wait till they have 20 times the points because then when I buy bougie uh, eye cream, the next day I can go and get bougie fragrance for free by collecting points. They give you points, it turns into cash value basically. So that's my second point of positivity. And my third point is, dare I say, this, I like don't wanna jinx it and like make direct eye contact with it, but it looks like the sun is coming out. It's supposed to. So I'm looking forward to getting outside this afternoon. But anyways, let me know what's making you guys smile today. I will let you go, but not without reminding you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.